Hello everyone. Today we will install Norco Instant Client on Windows. This is the small version of uh, Oracle Client. So it's called uh, Instant Client. We have uh, two versions right now, the uh, version 21 and uh, version 19. If you scroll down, you will see the version 19. We will install the version 21. The client version 21 we can use to connect to Oracle 21 or Oracle 19C or even uh, 11 or 12 or 19. To install, we will need to download one of uh, these two packets. The uh, basic packet or basic light packet. Basic bucket is uh, bigger than uh, basic line and it have uh, more feature, more function than uh, the basic line. I will download this version. It's around 80 megabyte. Okay, this is uh, the uh, mandatory packet. So we will um, download some uh, optional packet. There are two optional packet. Uh, the first one is uh, XL Plus. The second one is uh, some other tool like um, XL Loader or um, Xbox Inbox. Them. So um, it's very small so I, uh, I download and uh, install it together with the, uh, the, the basic one. It's just uh, one megabyte for each. So now I um, already download three packages. So um, I will extract it. Please keep in mind that we need to extract all those three packets in the same directory. For example, in um, this demonstration, I will extract it to the Oracle uh, client directory on my E drive. So I create the uh, Oracle directory, then uh, create the Oracle client. You can uh, extract to anywhere in your computer. Okay, I will extract to this folder. It created a uh, subfolder called uh, Eastern Lion 21.8. I keep repeating to extract the uh, two other into the same directory. Just uh, click yes because we need it to mark to the same directory. So now we are done with the uh, download and uh, extract the files. If you look at the uh, directory, you will see the command here, XL plus, XL loader, um, import, export. Uh, next one, I will need to uh, set up some uh, environment variable. I copy this uh, path then go to uh, system system in uh, control panel then go all the way down to about then uh, look on the uh, left side sorry look in the right side we will see the advanced system setting click on that 
then we will click on the environment variable so now I will add my uh, path to Oracle instant client to this uh, path variable double click on that then you can uh, add our path to Oracle client here then I uh, need to create another uh, environment variable it's called uh, tnet underscore admin this path will um, point to the network admin where I will uh, put the uh, tnet name uh, dot all right here So now we are done of uh, setting environment variable. We can uh, open command line to test. We can uh, echo the uh, path environment variable to uh, verify uh, e Oracle client instant line. You can see Oracle Instant Lion are already there. Then uh, we can check the uh, TNET admin variable. So it looks good. So uh, I try with uh, Adcal Plus to see if uh, it understands Adcal Plus command. So Adcal Plus uh, flash uh, no lock without space here. Remove space. Okay, is the Arcal Plus look uh, is working? You can uh, test with another command like uh, export or import. Okay, we are done with uh, setting up Oracle Instant Client. Now we can try to connect to the database. So I uh, open the new windows. You can see the new window with uh, the NHS connection to my uh, database server. You can see the um, server name. And uh, you can uh, see the instant name. And uh, also in the uh, listener status, you can see the uh, port number. This is uh, the default port number 1521. So just make sure it uh, can connect because um, I'm not really so if I understand the uh, host name so I get the IP address. So as care plus username then add IP address then uh, colon then uh, port number then slash the database name. This default database or seal. Now we can uh, enter then um, revise the uh, password. So now we connect to uh, Oracle Database 19C. We can show user to see it's connect to the uh, HR user. You can try to uh, do some query like uh, select cow star from uh, countries. So it's working. That means our Oracle Instant Lion is uh, working well now. So next step, we will um, set up Oracle Alias. We can uh, connect to database by using IP address, or, um, port number, or everything. But um, it's, it's not easy. It, uh, it's very long uh, connection. So we can uh, use alias, it's shorter and easier to connect. Then uh, you go to the uh, Oracle Instant Client folder, then Network, then Admin. We create the name, uh, the TNET name, 
uh, .ora. Make sure the name is Aura. It's not a test file. It's not a dot Aura then dot txt. It's not like that. So you can um, go to the um, database server to copy the um, the uh, alias from the server. I cd to Oracle Home Network Admin then. Uh, in uh, I copy from the uh, tnet name dot right in the server. It's just a, a test file, so you can uh, copy Control C then Control V. You can see uh, RICL is the uh, alias. Then it's connect to the database uh, host, the uh, port number, then uh, service name. Okay. We save the um, tnet name dot ora on our window. Then we can uh, use Agilus to connect. Now after add, we just uh, tie the alias name or ICO. So you can see it uh, It can connect to the uh, database at the same way like uh, we connect using the IP address. So you can uh, add uh, more alias to connect more database to this uh, tnet names dot ORA. At your work, you can uh, ask the uh, DBA admin to uh, provide you the uh, alias name. Basically, you can uh, connect this entry, then uh, rename the uh, host name, uh, then uh, port number, then uh, service name. The other thing is uh, is uh, the same. Now we are done. Thank you and see you in the next video.